Meet Michael Henke, a furrier from the Grand Traverse Commons. Furrier? Webster's definition of a furrier is anyone that handles fur. Okay. So if I was a trapper, I'm a furrier. But a master furrier, actually, I can buy the raw skins. I know all the facets of the fur business. Michael, a third generation furrier, has been in the business for as long as he can remember. I started this as basically my chores when I was growing up. Um, if I wanted to borrow the car, I had to tear apart a coat and lay it flat so my dad could, could remodel it. Um, so I, I I learned a lot just by growing up in, 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 my, in the house that my dad was a furrier and we'd go and see my grandmother who was a furrier also. The fur business isn't just in Michael's blood, it's also part of Traverse City's rich history. People came to Traverse City because of the beaver pelts, because of fur. It wasn't because of, of the sandy beaches and the hotels. Michael's business, Frederick Furs, preserves family history too. I work with um, people, you know, maybe grandma had an old fur and, and the granddaughter wants it made into a vest or something fun. That's, that's something I like. And then there's some sentimental value. It was grandma's fur and now I'm wearing it as a really cool vest or a really cool hat. When it comes to furs, Michael's 40 years of experience truly shines through, making hats to blankets and everything in between. The only limit will be your imagination. You know, when people go, wow, you can do that. Or somebody says, can you do this? Yes, can you do this? Yes, can you do that? Yes, it's like, yeah, if, you know, if you can dream it in fur, I can probably do it.